Willie Mo Jr. here. Why one of my homeboys called me and told me? Bro, I caught my wife talking bad about me. I told him. Wait, before I tell you the story, make sure you log on to WillieMoreJrLive.com and pick up my book, Happily After All, How to Keep Your Relationship Going When You're Tired of Trying. Use word home and I'm gonna get you 20% off of this book. Make sure you get it here. So my homeboy called and told me that his wife was talking bad about him on the phone with her homegirl. I told him, Bruh. I be talking bad about you too with them little clothes you be putting on all the time. Flat out. He couldn't do nothing but laugh. But he told me that he was hurt because he had poured his heart out to his wife and the next thing he knew, she was on the phone telling her friends exactly what he had told her. I was like, wow. I know what it feel like when trust is compromised. So I asked him, bro, what you do? He said, bro, I called you before I went in there and act bad. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You ever had them friends in your life that you don't never want to see mad? He one of them friends. I, bro, I'm so privileged that you would call your boy. At the end of the day, although trust has been compromised, you running in there hollering at her and acting a fool ain't gonna solve nothing. I told him what you need to do is write down everything that you feeling right now via text message. And don't send the text message. Sleep on it. Wake up in the morning and see if you feel the same way in the morning. He was like, bro, you know I can't spell. Well, just do your best. Just do your best. I explain words that are written can be erased, but words that have been spoken can never be erased. So it's important that we choose our words wisely. I asked him, if you had an issue at your job, you could not go in and just be irate and tear everything up unless you want to get fired. Why can't you give that woman that same respect? He was like, hmm. That's true, bro. Then I start thinking about you. See, many times in your relationship, when you feel disrespected, you come into a conversation with all emotion, mad and don't care who gets. But if it was your job, you would come in with a totally different temperament and a plan of action on how you would handle your employer because you feel like it's something to lose. Why is it that we don't do the same thing for those that we claim we love? Words written and read, you can retype, think things over, but you do not have to put that emotion on somebody else. So have a goal before you run into the argument. The Bible says write the vision and make it plain. Know what you want. Don't get so emotional that you damage somebody else. And even if it don't work out the way you want it to work out, at least you gave it your all. My bro called me back with a smile on his face. The thing that he thought he was disrespected over was done in pure ignorance. His wife wasn't intentional on what she was trying to do. He thanked your nephew. Ah, bro, that's cool, but I'm still talking bad about you with them liberty clothes you be wearing. Flat out. Remember, words written can be erased. Words spoken can never be erased. Watch your mouth. Hey family, I know a lot of people are going through it in their relationship, and I don't claim to be a relationship expert, but there's a lot of transparent information in my book, happilyafterallbook.com, happilyafterallbook.com, how to keep your relationship going when you're tired of trying. So make sure you pick up this book. Shout out to my flat out family, those people who give monthly to make sure that I can create content that matters. Flat out.